What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you know, I'm your boy Alec G and today I'm bringing you a video that is going to be useful to everybody. Um, it's pretty much an issue that occurs when you try to wheelie a bike. Um, there's a couple things you got to do to any and almost every bike. And even if you don't have to do it, it's a smart thing to do because it may be an issue later on. But before we get into this video, I want to remind you guys, I still got t-shirts. So hit me up, Cash App, Venmo, any payment method, really, Zelle, all of that. Let me know and I'll get them to you shipped. Um, I still haven't posted my website up, but that's going up soon. But until that website goes up, I'm going to keep to my word. They 28 shipped. Um, like I said, message me on Instagram or comment down below if you want one and... We will definitely get you a shirt, but let's get into this video today. So many people wonder, like, what does it take to stun a bike? Like, what are the things that are needed? And today I'm going to let y'all know the most important thing that's needed pretty much on any bike. Um, aside from, you know, getting a sub cage and all that protection and whatnot, there's a mod that I do pretty much. I've done it on the Z and I've done it on the 250 and I'm going to show you guys today and it will get rid of all your headaches and all of your problems. And on both bikes, there are two ways to do it. So what mod am I talking about? I'm talking about crankcase breathing. Many bikes, they have an issue where once you do a wheelie on them, they start spewing oil all over the place out of the crankcase breather. And it's either coming out of the airbox or somewhere and it creates a big mess. So today I'm gonna pretty much show you the basic method on how you can make crankcase breathing, uh, crankcase breathing setup for any bike that you ride. There's no one single way to do it, but today I'm just gonna show you kind of the methodology behind what you're trying to do and what you're trying to prevent. So let's get to it. I'm gonna show you on the two. All right, so now that we got the plastics off, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna show you guys my setup and I'm gonna admit it looks a little wild right now because I had it set up originally and it was still spitting oil out. So the first way I'm gonna explain is like the simple way to do it. And then the second way is gonna be like slightly more complex. It's still pretty easy to do, but it's like the fail safe way to not have any oil drip out of your bike. So. Let's get in here and take a look. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is locate your crankcase breather and where it's coming out of the top of the engine. And I'm sure there's gonna be a tube going from that to your air box. So you're gonna need to take that tube off. And the first thing I recommend for people to do is use a slightly larger diameter tubing than what they use. Because if you think of it like a straw, if you give the oil a small tube to travel down, it's gonna go further up this tube. So that's the first thing I recommend. Pick a good size tubing that you're still gonna be able to clamp down. Um, like I said, mine's a little wild right now, but basically you're gonna run a tube from the crankcase breather up to a catch can. And then from that catch can, there's this other tube here, and you're gonna run a tube from that up to a filter. That's a basic setup. Even more basic than that, people get away with running is you just take a long tube and you connect it to here and you just run it all the way up to a filter. And I had it set up like that in the beginning, but when you would do a wheelie and oil built up, when you would put the wheel down, oil would flow up to the front and still leak down. And I don't want oil leaking out on my bike. So I put the catch can on here. I'm a fan of catch cans. I like using them because I know I'm not gonna have oil possibly coming out from somewhere on my bike. So that's the first straightforward way if you want to stop oil come from coming out of your bike, boom, there you go, you're done. The second way, which is how I want to do it, which I'm hoping to preserve the longevity of the engine a little more doing it this way, is I am actually buying a different catch can. It's going to be the same catch can that I have on the Z because on the Z I actually have a breather coming on the valve tappet cover. Well, with the 250, I don't know if many other bikes will have it, but if it does, you can do this as well. There's a cover there that has already has a hose on it so what i'm gonna do is on the other catch can there's another outlet all right so i figure i'd cut in here and show you guys the catch can because we actually got lucky and it came in the mail today so this is it and what this catch can features is an in and out an additional opening on the top and why i like this catch can over the other one that i currently have they're both considered baffled catch cans but this one the baffle is kind of just like straight through and it kind of just diffuses the oil as it comes in so it doesn't just 
plow its way in. The other one has foam in that. And what I was finding it does is for the function that I want this to, to be used for, which is to actually allow the oil to continue to flow somewhere, it stops the flow having the foam there. And it wasn't allowing it to backtrack in, which is why I kind of decided to get this one with the third one to go to the tappet cover, which is what we're discussing right now. And I'm going to run tube from here to the CAT scan. Still going to run the one up to the filter, but then I'm going to run one from here into the onto the valve tappet cover. And what I'm hoping that does is if this can does fill up with oil and I'm up in a wheelie and this can just leak off and go to the top of the engine. Now, how much will that happen? I don't know. Um, I know it'll at least happen if there's any oil in there and I put the bike down, it should drip down in there. But when you're on the bike, it does create some pressure um, and pushes out that way. I've noticed that on the Z. Um, but either way, I'm trying something out. Brian636 kind of had a setup on his bike like that. And I figured, you know what, I'll give it a shot. He didn't use the catch can, but all in all, the same thing. So that's pretty much all you're trying to do is give the oil some place to go other than your air box when you're doing a wheelie and so it can drain back into the motor so as simple as that just like i said tube up to the catch can another tube up to a breather filter and you're good to go you can get more complex with it like the other method i explained but you don't have to just know that you can do it as simple as possible and it'll still work so that's pretty much it. Yeah, and just to give you a sneak peek on what I mean by, you know, like I said, the Z, I have, I don't know if you can see it in there, the red catch can is a part on top. So like I said, it runs into that and then the one runs to the head here and I've had no problem with that one. So I figure let's do the same over here. But yeah, if you found this video helpful, um, give it a thumbs up. Definitely do this on your bike if you want to not have oil issues. I know i got a couple homies out there who tend to have oil spitting out on a bike. This is a surefire fix. Um, I can send you the link to the catch can that I have. I will admit on the Z, it's a little bit big to the point where I'm utilizing like my cage and whatnot to hold it in there. So if my guy's on the Z, if you're trying to do it, you just may have to, you know, find a place to mount it up to. But on the 250, there's really no space under there either. So the smaller the catch can, the better. That's pretty much it. You don't want a giant one. Um, and these I found to be a good size. But. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up. Once again, don't forget about the t-shirts. Help me out. I got big plans. I'm trying to do things for us. Um, but yeah, until next time, y'all. Peace.